think we're all in. Well, they're breaking, and Seattle's fire broke very, very quickly on the inside here, followed by Soho Mouse, then the black cap of espionage, and at the back there is Makushla. So as they come up the junction, it is Seattle Spire on the inside, Soho Mouse in second, then River Run on the outside, and Makushla joining the fray, and now relegated to the back is Espionage. Seattle Spire holding firm on the inside here. Makushla is the closest challenger, River Run on the outside, South Lodge being asked join in but it is still Seattle Spire Makushla coming at this early leader it is Seattle Spire Makushla trying to get real in Seattle Spire but Mohendi cracks the whip and Seattle Spire responds and is careering away from this field Seattle Spire Seattle Spire is going to do it winning going away winning from Makushla Soho Mouse in third then the black cap of espionage Mohinde here, riding Seattle Spire. I'm sure, together with Joe, you're a bit fidgety, but there was no doubt about that result. Seattle Spire sprinting and winning comfortably. Yeah, she breaks so well, and I had to wait for the last 300 meters. I knew they, they might come, and the last 100 meters I knew I'm winning. Well, congratulations for a very good win. And... Seattle Spire's trainer, Joe Karari. Joe, Seattle Spire has been there for se quite some time, but are we now seeing him as a proper sprinter because last time he sprinted, won by 12 lengths. Again here, won comfortably. Yes, uh, these horses sometimes they pull us as trainers. Uh, we thought that he's a stayer, but he was not giving us what he w we could see in the gallops. And uh, after winning from the sprint, we can see that this horse prefers sprints. So we're saying the future of Seattle Spire is in the sprints. Like I told you, sometimes they fool us. <laughs> <And> <laughs> you never know. And uh, he's done nothing wrong on the sprint. Probably we'll see him more on the sprints. Well, congratulations for a very good win.